In a bold disguise, Ellen and William Craft escaped from slavery in Macon, Georgia in 1848. Rather than travel by the Underground Railroad, the couple used the Above Ground Railway. In order to board a train and escape to New York, Ellen Craft dressed and took the part of a white man traveling with a black servant, who was in fact her husband, William. Ellen Craft was the mixed-race daughter of a mulatto slave and her white master. She was often mistaken as white due to her light complexion, and so she was able to dress as a white man. Muffling her voice with clothing and keeping her right arm in a sling to cover up the fact she could not write. They reached Philadelphia from Savannah. The passing of the infamous Fugitive Slave Bill in September 1850 forced them to flee to England. Nineteen years were spent under the mane of the British Lion free from the claws of the American Eagle. Finally, after the Civil War they returned as farmers to their native Georgia. Their bold odyssey in 1848 brought them fame and renown. It was a story of love, determination, and resilience, the virtues of frontier America, conquering all odds. No other escape, with the possible exception of Frederick Douglass and Josiah Henson's, created such a stir in America as did the Crafts. They had five children shortly after the Civil War. They returned to Georgia in 1868, where they founded an agricultural farm school for freedmen slaves. They worked the farm until 1891. Ellen Craft died in 1891.